So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you're gonna click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. And now for the second step, you're gonna head over to the link, which will be down below in the description to download Microsoft Visual C++. And then once you're on this, you're just gonna scroll down. We're gonna be having two downloads right here, x86 and x64. To know which one you need, you're gonna head over to search and type in system information. Click on it. And now once this comes up, next the system type is gonna be telling us. So I'm on x64, that's the one that I'm gonna be getting. If your one says x86 or x32, you're gonna get the other one. So for me, it says x64, so I'm gonna be getting that download, x64. It's now gonna start downloading, wait for this to load. And then once this comes up, you're gonna click on it. And now this will come up. You're gonna click on I agree, and then click on install. And then once this comes up, you're gonna click on yes. Wait for this to load. If you get this, you're gonna click on yes. Wait for this to load. It should now be saying set up successful. We can now close out of this. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to the link, which will be down below in the description to download DirectX and use a runtime web installer. Now once you're on this, you're gonna scroll down, select your language, and then click on download. And now once you have the download, we're gonna click on it, and then click on yes. And now this will come up. You're gonna click on I accept, and then click on next. You're gonna untick this, and then click on next. Wait for this to load. And now once this comes up, you're gonna click on next again. Wait for this to load. It's now gonna start installing components, wait for this to load. It should now be saying installation complete, you now wanna click on finish. Now for the last step, you just wanna restart your computer, and then the problem should be fixed. 